Hello, welcome back to the EFL League One Road to Back to the Championship. And we can see today's match day seven. We've got Ipswich Town down at the Munda Crookshank Stadium. So let's have a quick look at the team we've selected for today. And we've got uh, we've got Kev Reed and goals. We've got uh, Tom Young Thomas is coming in at the right back because Flea Fountain is a little bit down. And this is a suitable replacement. We'll give the young lad a, a, a run out. We've got Andy Smith, Martin Evans and... Well, we've got Steve McManus, Sean McManus on the left back because, as uh, you can see, Jeff Gregson is out injured. So we've got Sean McManus left back position. Luke Shaw, Ivan Hodgson in the old in position on midfield. We've got Phil Smith in the attacking role. And uh, we've got Louis Smith on the right, Keith Osborne on the left, and we've got Billy Key up top. So we've got a, a variety of uh, substitutes. We've got Ollie Lillard who can come on and Adam McKirk could come on the left hand side if needed. Oh, Charles is back on the bench and so is Steve Towers. So let's get this game against Ipswich Town on the way. And it's match day seven, so straight to the kickoff. So here we are at the Manda Crookshank for this game against Ipswich Town with two games, two wins on the bounce. Can we get another or some more points to shove us up that league? and get us into that championship race for promotion. Well, anyway, Coval Town in their traditional black and white and um, black shorts kicking left to right and Ipswich Town in their traditional blue and white kit. So, there's McManus to Luke Shaw to Phil Smith and you're already Ipswich Town looking defensively and there's young Thomas now and it's Phil Smith. Oh, that's took a wicked deflection. And that could have gone anywhere, but it's gone out for a corner kick to Colville Town. Uh, young Thomas there chasing down the ball on the right, fits it inside to Phil Smith. First time shot, but it's come off the defender and gone aimlessly for a, a corner kick. Could have gone anywhere, but it's corner kick. But Manners, Luke Shaw, it's going to be a patient build up. As we get to Thomas, to Lewis Smith. Now Thomas again. He's got players in the middle this time. And you oh, and. Billy Key just getting his head onto it and getting in front of the defender, but just had it wide. And a nice build up by Colville to find a space to actually do it a cap, but hey, Billy Key's head is just wide. So Norris in the. And it's Luke. Lewis Smith. Again, he's finding plenty of space down this right hand side, but again, his path is blocked off by the. And it's. Oh, a little ball over and Billy Key! Oh, he got a little shove in the back. And, but the referee again has said no. The Adam Stevens going absolutely mad on the, on the touchline. That looked like Billy Key got a right shove in the back. But this time, again, it's got to be a patient beat up. Luke Short. And Lewis Smith again comes short. And Luke Short. Oh, well played, Keith Osborne. Now then, can Whitmanners get one in? He can't, and Billy Keith had it over again. Oh, Billy Keith had two chances now from Edders. Each time, it's not been good enough. Lovely play by Keith Osborne. Lost, twisted and turned into McManus. Good ball in again, but again, Billy Keith's direction not on target. So down to take this. Is it going to be a shot or is it going to try to cross it in? But nice. And now where's Osborne to keep? There's Billy Key now then and, and Mick Manners. And it's Billy Key chasing. Oh, and he's still stuck it in at the post. Oh, agonisingly. And it's just hit the post and gone in Billy Key. Holmes are scoring for Cobble Town against Ipswich after 32 minutes. A brilliant ball and a brilliant counter attack by Colville. I can see again, it's just come down this on that left hand side. Lovely ball. Billy Key probably just pulled his shirt, but he's just tucked it in at the far post and Colville take the lead. Oh, that was a super counter attack. He got it in, he's pulled it down, but Chambers, for oh, Ipswich has just, well, he's just managed to get it out. Johnny Khan to Downs, we're into the last minute of the first half. One minute of uh, stoppage time. 
And we're into that now, so it should be any time now. That is the half-time whistle. Cobalt Town going to the break for with 1-0 lead off to Billy Key. Just took one in at the far post. Well, welcome back to the Manda Crookshank for Ipswich Cobble Town against Ipswich Town. In this League One road to the Championship game. And if I remember it right, Ipswich Town are, bottom, are the bottom side, but we'll see at the end of the game. And anyway, here's a chance for. Oh, and Martin Evans taking charge of that situation. Oh, super defending by the skipper. And now a Lewis Smith now. And he's got Thomas. And it's Keith Osborne, what's he doing over here? Come on, Keith, get back over here, sunshine. And there's McManus. And it's Phil Smith. And it's Keith Osborne. Phil Smith! It took a deflection, but it's gone safely past the post for Ipswich Town. But again, a lovely little give and go. Carville Town at the minute are oh, playing some lovely football. See the deflection, it's gone wide and gone out for a corner kick to Cobble. Phil Smith covering now. Oh, nearly, nearly got the. Oh, they pulled him out, and that's well worked by Ipswich. That's the equaliser. That was well worked. Owls has hammered it into the roof of the net. The equaliser, lovely, well worked here. Phil Smith chasing him back and as soon as Andy Smith come out of position that left the hole of Downs to, to just hammer it into the goal 1-1 one, one. so Adam Stevens making a couple of substitutions Keith Osborne coming off and Adam McCurk replacing Molly Linnick coming on for Billy Key and so we're going to get some pace up front now with young Adam McCurk who's a quite a pacey player so has used for Ipswich uh, can, can Colville get hooked and uh, Judge has got past Thomas uh, and again Jackson Jackson Vincent Young and he's put it in oh Ipswich take a shot lead here at the Manda Crookshank Vincent Young has capitalised on a defensive error and after 61 minutes Ipswich go 2-1 up well oh, Lovely little ball, and there's a great little pass into Vincent Young. McManus just stood, let the player come in, and it's, it should have come from behind to go 2 1 up. And there's Luke Short. And Phil Smith. And it's Thomas. And Louis Smith. Thomas again, can he, can he deliver one, he can, and on in it, it's in, oh McCurk has just nonchalantly just tapped it in, it went over, well it's come off, it's, a, it's classed as an own goal, I've got a sword, Alan McCurk got a final touch to it, but obviously not, Lewis Smith getting it down the right hand side, getting it back to Thomas, a lovely ball, it's over Linnit, but it's come off the defender, I thought Alan McCurk had just got a foot to it, but no, we can see again, brilliant ball in by Thomas, just gone over Ollie Linnett, but it's just come off the centre-back, and it's 2-2, two -two. well, 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 what have we here, we have an uh, interesting game now, it's, uh, Cole will have come back into it, to Louis Smith, to Luke Shaw, now they're Luke, to McManus, Playing it to Luke Shaw, Phil Smith, and it's McCurk. Oh, he's just put it past the post. Oh, they worked that well between them. We could see. See, Phil Smith just finding the curry board, and that's just scraped the paint off the post. And, and he's got. He, we're into the last minute now, can Colville redeem anything from this game? Here's Luke Shaw. Oh, and Phil Smith! Oh, he's just one side the post. Oh, that was a chance to win it for Colville. In the dying seconds of the game, you can see Adam McCurk, he's been quite a live voice since he's come on and 
flicked it ball through. Phil Smith probably just took it a little bit too. Well, you've got two minutes of stoppage time by the referee, and that probably be enough for the draw for the point. Here at the Manda Cup Chan, big better point for Ipswich than Colville. They've gone a run, but they're still unbeaten. That's the main thing. Not the draw, is it? But uh, Thomas this time. Oh, well played. And Lewis Smith, but there's the final whistle. We're going for a 2 2 draw against Ipswich Town. Down to Yinton Young for Ipswich. Billy Key and her own goal by the Ipswich defender. So it's 2 2. So, match day seven results. We've got Cobble Town 2, Ipswich 2. We've come back, well, we was in the lead, got down 2 1, then came back to draw 2 2. So, yes, that's, that's a point. So, that's what it is. Rotherham nil, Doncaster nil. We've got Wimbledon nil, Coventry City 4. They've come back. Uh, Fleetwood 1, Lincoln City 1. Wickham Wanderers 2, Gillingham 2. And in the other half, it's Peterborough nil, Oxford nil. Burton Albion 1, Portsmouth nil. And the leaders, Blackpool, have lost, gone down 1 0 to Rochdale. So, Sunderland 1, and MK Dons 1, and Bristol Rovers 1, Sheffield, uh, sorry, Shrewsbury Town. Three, so let's see that's going to make it interesting at the top and at the bottom. So let's have a quick look at the league table. And there we go, Wickham Wanderers on the top now, still unbeaten. One, four, draw three, 15 points. We've got Peterborough second, uh, Blackpool have dropped down to third, Coventry City back up to fourth, and Rotherham, Portsmouth, and Gillingham. Then where are down at eight? Where up at eight? Are we? No, same place. We stopped where we are, eight, uh, on ten points. One, two, drawed four. Only lost one. But, uh, say, we could have uh, done with the result today. But with points, we'll take that. That's at this stage of the season. We'll look at the bottom of the table. And Ipswich Town, with that point, I've got uh, still, still winless. I mean, they had a chance to win that one, but we did uh, get that equaliser. And they're on two points with AFC Wimbledon. So Doncaster Rovers also in the bottom three. Sunderland are, they're languishing down at the bottom. They need a bit of a revival. One of the favourites to get out of this uh, this division and into the championship. So let's have a look at the Premiership League table. As we can see, oh, look at that Leicester City in second position. So they're going great guns in this division. So Liverpool top, Leicester City, Tottenham, Brighton. Man City, all the top teams are dropping down. Chelsea, Man United have gone up. Arsenal are going up now. So, yeah, Leicester City, well done, Leicester City. Scored 16 and only had three against. Wow, let's look at the bottom. And where Southampton and Norwich are still one point each. And Sheffield United in them bottom three positions. So, look at the championship. This is the, this is the league we're trying to get in from the League One. It's Birmingham City still on top. Uh, on 18 points, we've got three teams on 16, Derby, Bristol, City, Brentford, and we've got Middlesbrough and Preston North End in them playoff positions, and if we look at the bottom, Leeds United are down in 15th, so let's have a look at the bottom position, Barnsley, uh, Sheffield Wednesday have gone, crept themselves up, they've gone uh, up to 22nd, and Blackburn Rovers are down in the bottom, so the Northern clubs are Oh, occupying them bottom three positions, uh, two Yorkshire and uh, one Lancashire. So, a Millwall just out of that bottom three. So, so our next game is match day eight. We're away to Gillingham. So, that'll be the next game up. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you next time. Well, welcome back to the Skybet League One Road to the Championship. And today it's match day eight. And we're away to Gillingham. And for, let's have a look at the team for today. We've got, uh, we've, got we've bought Cairo Mitchell up top. Um, he replaces Billy Key, who's dropped out of the squad altogether. And I thought to give Cairo a, a bit of a run. So we'll see how he gets on. Uh, we've got uh, Louis Smith on the right, Phil Smith and Keith Osborne on the left. We've got Joel Charles and Odges in the midfield and we've got Louis Lee Farrington, Ali Smith, Martin Evans and Stevie Irons is coming in again for the injured Jeff Gregson and Lee Farrington is back up to fitness so he takes his place and we can see we've got a quite a strong bench we've got plenty to bring on, I've got Ollie Lee, Adam McCurk who's been playing well on that left hand side Alex Dean, Luke Shaw, Stuart Pierpoint and Matt Newbury so I may actually no, we'll leave it as it is. That's well, I've got two midfielders. 
Ah, uh, change her new before. I'll put bring Timberry. Yeah, I'll bring Timberry on there. Okay. Right then, so let's get straight to the kickoff match day eight. We play Gillingham. Any club clash and Gillingham kicking left to right as Charles Cook gets this for Phil Smith. Well played, Phil Smith. Dispossession. There's Osborne now, Keith Osborne. And it's to Stevie Hines. Joel Charles, who's been quite, uh, played quite well in the past few games. So here's Martin Evans, the skipper. And that's out to Farrington. He's got Lewis Smith running on, but Hemar gets it back to his keeper, at Torrey. And it's Phil Smith to Keith Osborne. And Cairo Michel. Can he get a shot in? He can, and he scores! Oh, five minutes on the board, and Cairo Michu justifies his selection. Just stood from the centre back and tucks it into the corner of the net and gives Colville the lead. Well, 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 what a start for Colville Town here at the Priestfields. Gillingham fans absolutely stunned by that strike. What a strike. See the balls come out and Phil Smith picks it up in midfield, chests it down to Keith Bond, just lays it into Cairo Mitchell. He's just leashed a left foot shot, beating the keeper. 1 0 Colville, what a start. So that'll get the uh, confidence up, that's for sure. There's Gillingham, now they've got to get from behind. And well, we would take anything for granted after being 1 0 up at half time in the last game. and. Oh, well played, but it's a foul. Well, that was a very, very harsh call, but that's what it's about. So, well, we all know what happens from these free kicks just outside the box for the opposition. You have to be on your metal. So. So. And it's over the top, and it's in the net. Oh, you could. Put your bottom goal in, that was going to go in. Lee equalising for Gillingham after two minutes after going behind from a free kick. As you can see, it's very difficult to defend these free kicks. So, one all. <laughs> We're back to square one after only seven minutes. And there's Mitchell. And he, oh, he's, oh, he tried to chip the keeper, but Bonham was equal to it. Never was, but anyway, that's what the game's about, isn't it? There's Osborne to Cairo, and it's to Stevie Hines, and it's the left back's in. The left back's in, but oh, and it's Stevie Hines tucks it in. Oh, the keeper made a fantastic save from the start, but Stevie Hines has got the well, the full back scored his first ever goal for Colville. A nice break down this left hand side. And the keeper made a good save initially from the first shot. See, just playing through by Cairo and Steve Hines comes in at an angle. Good parry by the keeper, but Stevie Hines has took the rebound in to give restore the lead for Colville Town. Well, 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 what a start to a game. 14 minutes gone. Colville play lead, two goals to one. Phil Smith, the Charles Cook now they're trying to get the position worked here by and a shot oh it's just wide at the stanchion at the back oh that made that rattle that was a good little build up by Gillingham see the centre forward just holding it up turns in gets this to his part but the ball's it I thought it was gone in the net but it's rattled the stanchion turn who's gone some space and it's down the line to to Lewis Smith and he's got Farrington can he cross one he can oh what a save and what a shot oh, right out from the touch line very ambitious but it's gone talking to the keepers didn't take any chances did he? he pushed it out for the corner kick to Colville signs all the way out to Farrington and it's a good ball down for Phil Smith. And it's Osborne with on his left foot, but again the keeper's made a blinding save. Oh, a good strike bomb, Keith Osborne again. Phil Smith just tucking down that channel. 
tucks it back and pulls it back and Keith Rodman's it cut with his favourite left foot and it's tipped over by the keeper. Balls to Hodges. Lewis Smith. Uh, you've got Farrington on that far side now. Phil give and go with Phil Smith and Farrington is there and he's coming in to fluff up. Always getting caught by the Oh and Keith Osborne has killed. He's chucked it into the corner. Well, 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 Cobble Town 3-1. Well, the crowd here are absolutely booing. That's where they're booing the crowd. But Lee Farrant has made a good run. The keeper had only palm it out to the six-yard box. And Keith Osborne cools his light. He just turns it into the empty net. So it's just been round. And, well, it's easy as you come for Keith Osborne there. Three goals to one. And Colville Town at the moment are in the, in the driving seat. Osborne. Trace it back, Lee. Oh, that's a good ball over. Ground can keep this in. He can. He's crossed it in. Oh, and that was... Oh, my, how's he missed that? Oh, Mandarin. Oh, that was a golden opportunity for Gillingham to get back into the game as quick as that. He's turned around. He's just leaning back and he's blasted it over the bar. Up. So, you've got to play it if it's... Phil Smith down to Lee Fountain now, then. It's the other. And FIFA in turn. Oh, and the keeper's made a save. Well, again, Lee Farrington exploiting that right hand side. And he's come cut in. He could have cut it back this time. He's had a, had a pop. The keeper's made a good save on him. Um, can he? He can. And it's. Oh, and it's scrapped off the bar. Oh, my. What a what an header! And it's hit the bar, but the shot lovely for the keeper. And it's Louis Smith tried to get on the ball, but Amar, boy, we're dwelling on it, but it's gone out for a throw into Cobble Town. We're into the last two minutes of this half, and it should be half time, and Colville are going to go in three-one up. That's Car Charles. But is it going to go for a corner kick? It certainly is. So we're three minutes in. We've gone a minute over. So this will definitely be the last chance saloon in this R4 Colville as Osborne gets one in. But it's... And Joel Charles. But it's gone wide and that'll be half time. Gillingham 1, Colville Town 3, Mitchell Hines and Osborne. Lee scoring the equaliser after eight minutes. Good half for Colville. So back to the second half here at the Priestfield. Uh, Gillingham are uh, 1 3 down to Colville Town and another half of football. And we can't take anything for granted after a good comeback in the last game. We can't. A two gold lead is nothing if it's not acted on risk. Keith Osborne. And, oh, and Cairo Mitchell nearly getting his second, getting his head to it, but the keeper's made a save. It's just down at the near post. I probably, probably could have added it across the goal, but again, Keith Osborne is playing well. He's coming into his own a bit now. The season's on the way. Going to come back. I'll believe. I suppose we've got to accept a bit of pressure in this half. And another shot, but just over the bar. Oh, Charles Cook just... Having a speculative shot from about 30 yards out, but didn't trouble anybody. Good shot. They say it's lifting and rising all the way, so. Again, full up. To Lee. Ooh, he's got past Phil Smith. Oh, there's another foul. <laughs> another goal here coming, isn't there? Oh, my. See, it's right on the edge of the box, and... Joel Charles has put the foot in. And it's... Oh, it's time it's hit the wall. Oh. Well, it's time it's hit the wall and gone over for a corner kick. Now then, Cairo Mitchell. To Hines. And it's Lewis. Oh, Phil Smith. He's got Lewis Smith through the middle. Now can Lewis Smith... Oh, he's kicked it straight to the keeper. 
Oh, it was a chance and a half for Lewis to actually wrap this game up, but a kindy now for Gillingham as he's coming forward and Charles Cook. Whoa, good save. Oh, it's down that middle and oh, that was so close for Phil Smith again. And it's uh, Steve Eyes, he's got the and he's got a chance here. Oh, and that's as easy as you like, Kyle. Cairo Mitchell gets his second of the game. A lovely break again by Steve Eyes. These two players have absolutely been devastating in this game. Four goals to one. And Colville Town. Put a firm foothold on the game. A lovely run again by Stevie Hines. Played it unselfishly, played it across the goal. And there's Cairo Mitchell just to tuck it in. Stevie Hines had a, had a really good game. Across the goal, look, and it pleases you to like into the empty net for Cairo. To Andy Smith. And it's out to Farrington. And this time it's Luke Shaw's on. And he's, can he get into the act? He can! It's the but Cairo Mitchell's at it! Oh, bless his cotton socks! Cairo Mitchell, you beauty! He gets the match ball! Well, he's had a storm, an absolute storm of Cairo. I'm not sure who's on us. Broke away, the, it absolutely obliterated the Gillingham defence. Just go and see Luke Shaw. Thought for all the money in life it was going to go in, but Cairo Mitchell reacting quickly and gets the fourth goal for Colville. Uh, still going to make a substitution. So oh, Tim Berry's replacing Keith Osborne's had a good game today. Sorry, Adam McCurt coming on. I thought it was Tim Berry's, but now Adam McCurt's coming on. These final few minutes, five minutes to go, and it's five goals to one. Couldn't have dreamed of anything better for Colville McCurk. And it's again at McCurk. Ah, oh, no, it's not. Oh, it's not. Ooh, I thought McCurk, Adam McCurk was going to. For his first touch, they blasted it into the net. But again, Cairo Mitchell has just, just absolutely been on fire. Absolutely been on fire. So it's okay. Lee to take the corner kick. Adam Smith. Solid as a rock in that centre back position. And it's Hogleave. Charles, great job. And it's. Oh, it's a consolation. Well, consolation for Gillingham. Mandron turning and turning a point into the corner. 5 2. And. Oh. The Gillingham fans who have already left, they'll be reading it in the papers tomorrow. They'll say, oh dear, we're left and we missed our second goal. But anyway, there you go. Watch it on local news next on. Uh, Cairo Mitchell to take the... We've gone to the last minute of the game and... Well, I just can't see... Can't see anything back now for... But uh, here's Farrington. And it's... Ball in, but Bonham will collect it. And surely now that is game set and match. The final whistle will blow. And there it goes. Coble Town 5, Gillingham 2. Well, match ball for Cairo Mitchell and man of the match for sure. Well played, Cairo. So, week 8 games as uh, results. We've got, uh, well, look at that. Gillingham 2, Colville 5. Well, we are scoring some goals. That's for sure. And I don't know whether it's because we've up the... Um, we've got the time of the games, I don't know, but uh, anyway, it's Gillingham 2, Colville 5, Ipswich 1, Bottom Club, Rotherham 0, that's a good victory for Ipswich, Doncaster 0, Wimbledon 0, Coventry 0, Fleetwood 2, another defeat for Coventry City, Lincoln 1, Bristol Rovers 1, Oxford United 1, Wickham 0, uh, Portsmouth 0, Peterborough 3, Blackpool 1, uh, Burton 3, so Blackpool have, uh, have took another beating and against the up and down team Burton Albion, MK Downs 1, Rochdale 1, Shrewsbury 1 on F AFC Sunderland. They are in trouble. To be honest with you, in this league, they are in trouble. So they've lost 1 0. So let's see how that reflects on the league table. And we're up to fourth. Well, 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 four points beyond Peterborough, Peterborough at the top. 
from Wickham Wanderers, Blackpool, and then we're in fourth place, we're in the playoff position, so yes, it's looking good for us, we've won three, drew four, lost one, we've got the goal differences going up as well, we've got 14 goals, and yeah, it's looking good this season, so let's look down at the bottom, and we can see that Wimbledon are still bottom with three, Ipswich, with that victory have moved them off the bottom, Doncaster still in the bottom three, and Sunderland are on 17th position. So let's have a look at the old Premiership. Now uh, we can see that uh, Liverpool and Man City, the top two teams there, is, uh, they're getting a bit of a pull in away job, and it's Leicester City third and Tottenham Hotspur fourth. Brighton and Chelsea, Manchester United just over and just outside with Arsenal. And at the bottom, we've got Southampton still only on one point, and Sheffield United, two teams without a win at the moment, and Norwich City, they're in the relegation positions at this moment in time. So, so the championship, we've got Derby County, Bristol City, Middlesbrough. Uh, so, uh, Derby, Bristol City, they're in the promotion place at the moment. We've got Middlesbrough, Birmingham, Preston, and Brentford in the playoffs, Fulham just outside. And at the bottom, Barnsley, Blackburn, Luton, and Sheffield Wednesday have crept out the th bottom three first time of the season. So, well done, Sheffield Wednesday. For this. But anyway, we've got plenty of time to go yet. And as you can see, match day nine, we're at home at the back of the Munda Crookshank for Oxford United. So, that's got to be, got to be, we've got to be on the up, and we're looking good at the moment. So, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys next time.